You know, uh, Bill, there's something uh, that I really love about the Windows uh, 95. It's really cool. And uh, it just it comes up right here. And you, Okay, now what? Well, that's it's okay. Now look, there. The flying toasters. Look. See? They're toasters and they're flying. And then, oh, here comes a brand in. It got looking. It got Let, let me show you something here. Yeah, okay. Here. Okay. Huh? Wow. <laughs> cool. It, it, make that fly. Let me see that thing fly. <laughs> wow. So what did you think of that quiz machine? Very impressive piece of equipment until it exploded, wasn't it? I've seen better. Now. Now, at Microsoft, I have a feeling that you guys must have a vast research and development department. New ideas come across your desk every minute of every day, don't they, pretty much? Almost. Yeah. So now, if something like the quiz machine failed, what would you do? What course of action would you take? Um, I'd recall it. Recall it? <laughs> but wouldn't you fire a lot of people first? No. No! <laughs> <laughs> Let's, uh, I have like a million things to ask you. First of all, if you can, describe for us succinctly what it is that you did better and first that put you where you are today. What was the core of this? What was the seed? What is the essence of Microsoft? When and how did that happen? <laughs> okay. Uh, I think there's a lot of elements that go into it. A vision of what software could do. What was the do. vision? What was your vision? Well, a computer on every desk and in every home. Right. I don't have one on my home or in my we're desk. We're working on or that. Vice versa. <laughs> but there was more to it than just that vision. You must have known. How early did you realize you knew something that could be exploited and to, to this extreme? Well, there were a small group of people who saw what this chip could do as it became more powerful. And we sort of felt like a special group because we were all working on it. And we thought someday these big computer companies are going to have a, a huge problem. And this thing is going to reach out to the entire world. But every year, we just kept hiring more people, working on it. It's been 20 years since we started it. And we're not really to the full realization of that vision even, even today. Yeah. But th this came to you more or less when you were in high school. You were so far ahead of people in your high school class with knowledge of computers that they, the, the school hired you, didn't they? That's right, I did the, the school scheduling. It was a very nice position to be in. <laughs> <laughs> and how did you make that work to your advantage? Well, we, we had 80% uh, boys and 20% girls. Right. But in my classes, they were all girls. Just you, because you worked the schedule into the, there you go. <laughs> why, why don't I have a computer? <clears throat> We need, we need to find a, an application for you. Part of your problem is you have too many assistants. Uh -huh. they, <laughs> well, I, I, they're like, I like having assistants. Well, they're, <laughs> they're like human computers. They're uh -huh. doing everything for you. Right. Uh, maybe you should let them have computers. But we, I, th I think some of them do. I, I you know, certainly haven't met all of them, but I think some of them do. <laughs> But, but, you know, I think about this, and, and what about this internet thing? Do you, do you know anything about that? Sure. What, what the hell is that exactly? Well, it's, it's become a place where people are publishing information. Right. So you, everybody can have their own homepage, companies are there, the latest information. It's wild what's going on. You can send electronic mail to people. Uh, it is the big new thing. Yeah, but you know, uh, uh, it's easy to criticize something you don't fully understand, which is my position here. Go ahead. But I, I can remember, a couple of months ago, there was like a big breakthrough announcement that <laughs> on the internet or on some computer deal, they were going to broadcast a, a baseball game. You could listen to a baseball game on your computer. And I just thought to myself, does radio ring a bell? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just... there's, there's a difference. There is a difference. It's not a huge difference. What is the uh, difference? But you can you can listen to the baseball game whenever you want. All right. Too. Oh, I see. So it's stored in one of your memory deals, exactly. and then you can come That's back the a year thing later. You talked yeah. about earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Do tape recorders ring a bell? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I just I just don't know. What what can you just knowing me the little you know me now? What how what am I missing here? What do I need? Well, if you want to learn about the latest cigars or. Uh, Auto racing right. uh, statistics. Well, you know, or, I don't know. I've got that covered. I, I subscribe to two British magazines de devoted entirely to motorsports, and I call the Quaker State Speed Line about two times a half hour. <laughs> so now, now, would the computer give me more than I'm getting that way? Well, you can find other people who have the same unusual interests you do. Uh, and. <laughs> You mean, 
You mean the troubled loner chat room on the internet? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I think one day I'll get one of these deals, but I, you know, I've played with them, and then you, you know, you type it in, and then you get that thing, that little arrow. Is that the arrow you, you move? Bet. And then you it's bet. just, you know, it's like, oh, I get it. It's an eye test. What are we? <laughs> um, tell me about your house. Are you in your new house yet? No, I'm still building that. I'm hoping to move in by the end of '96. Uh, Is this just like the coolest house of all time? Uh, for me, it's the coolest house of all time. What, what are the things that you've designed for the house that really you're very excited about? Well, I've got a, a trampoline room. Uh, that I can go and use. <laughs> a trampoline room. That's right. This is like an actual trampoline or yeah. like a computer trampoline? Non-virtual. This, uh, <laughs> this is the real deal. <laughs> sure. And, and you have uh, artwork that can be changed? Right. I have very high quality screens uh, throughout the house. And so I can call up. I can take a topic like scientists or Russia or Renaissance paintings. And so different ones of images related to that topic will come up. Uh -huh. And uh, wherever I go, you get those high quality displays. Man, uh, how many square feet is this? Well, it's, it's fairly big. <laughs> what, are, what are we talking about? Oh, more than 50,000 square feet. 50,000 square feet? <laughs> this theater is not that big, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> It's got different parts. It's got a place where I can entertain. Uh, oh, well, that's good. You don't want to cheat yourself on that. OK. Mm. Is there something now beyond what we understand about computers that, uh, like 20 years ago, we didn't fully understand computers? Is there now another level of something? Maybe we haven't even thought of it. Maybe it's not even possible. Maybe you know, a whole different uh, mechanism, a whole different uh, software and hardware. Or is this going to be it now through the end of time? Well, mostly what we're working on now is the computer being a tool, a tool to help us learn or find other people with the same interests. Uh, eventually, we may figure out how to make the computer think. But uh, that turns out to be a very tough problem. In fact, there's been almost no progress made on it. So nobody knows when that will happen. Some people think it will never happen. Yeah, we don't want them to think, do we? <laughs> Not really, well, I don't think. Uh, it's, it's a scary thought. Yeah. It's too bad there's uh, no money in this, too, isn't there? <laughs> Just a shame. Um, the, the book is called uh, The Road Ahead. And Bill, thank you very much. I can't, uh, can't thank you for your help here with the big quiz machine tonight. Uh,